Look a bit rough. It's a lot. I didn't sleep last night. No, not good feel. Really? Mm. I'm stomping around at two o'clock in the morning, woke me up. Go and talk to her. No. But how are you going to sort this all out? No idea. You don't have to do this, you know, love. So I hope Robbie can manage for a little while. It's not as if I ask you to do much around here, is it? No, I did offer you a wash up when I got back. You insisted, didn't you? Yes. I heard you. I was going to do it after the film. But why didn't you? Because I fell asleep on the sofa and woke up at four o'clock this morning, freezing cold. Hey, don't know how it ended, dear. Don't believe you. Right, you're washing up tonight and you can start by clearing that mess up in the living room. Look, I am trying to do my bit, all right? Yeah, right. Now, I don't suppose that ring around the bath has got anything to do with you, has it? No. Oh, no, no, hang on a minute. So, what do you call this? Well, I think this one is a courgette bake. What? Well, it's different, isn't it? Sometimes, Peggy, change can be good. There are loads of vegetarians nowadays. I mean, Irene, for one. One being the operative word. If she'd been starved for a week, she couldn't eat all this lot. Hmm. Does look quite a lot, doesn't it? <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to shift this. Not around here, anyway. Well, we might. I mean, the woman said on the phone that it was a special offer. Oh, well, I'm sure it was. That's because nobody else wants it. She must have seen you coming. I didn't know, did I, Peggy? <sighs> what am I going to do about all this? This is the last thing I need. Oh, what's happened? Well, you can see what's happened. I let your sister order the food. I should have known. You let them, will you, and not on me? All your sister had to do was pick up the phone. What's so hard about that? What is the matter with you, Janine? Let's try and get some of this stuff upstairs. No, leave it, leave it, all right? Oh, little Peggy, you go to school before you get yourself into more trouble. It's all right, you haven't heard the last of this young lady. Believe me. But it wasn't even my fault. Oh, well, that'd be a first. Ricky! Go on, go! Ricky! Nikki, get a move on, will you? Nice of Jackie to take Joe to school today. Still, the less time they spend together, the better. Till they make it up, which they will, of course. What? Jenny and Jackie, you must have noticed an atmosphere lately. It's his business, Mum. I'm sure they get over it. I hope so. It's bound to be Jenny's fault. Why? Well, you know what an idiot he can be sometimes. I hope so. Yeah, but not you. You heard from Sandra? Not yet. I left her another message. Listen, darling. Whatever happens. I know you exactly know. how you feel about her, Mum. Let's not get into it right now, yeah? Thanks for helping me, Jay. You've been brilliant. Hello. Afternoon. Sorry. Sonia. I was gonna pop round to see you later. Didn't think you'd be going to school. Well, might as well. Granddad's at home. I don't want to be here with Robbie fussing over me. Ah, oh, did you get any sleep last night? A bit. I can't stop thinking about it, Nat. Well, why don't you do a pregnancy test? Oh, no, I should, but I'm so scared. Well, how about if I buy it? Yeah, all right. I don't know if I'll be able to look, though. Well, come round to Patton Roy's after school. You can do it there. I'll hold your hand. Thanks, Nat. That's what I was hoping to. I'm sure you will, and still look a bit peaky to me. She's fine. Right, <coughs> Damage. I'll have a baker roll to take out. The plays would be nice. Please, and can we make it quick? You're all right. No, I'm not. Peggy's just had a right go at me. Well, I'm sure she had a good reason. You don't even know what it was about, Roy. But whatever it was, there's no excuse for rudeness, Janine. anywhere near the Vic. Ask Peggy if you don't believe me. And so I come and took you over an hour to buy a bag of chips. If I'd known I was going to face the Spanish Inquisition, oh. I wouldn't have bothered. It was a nice night, so I went for a walk. End of story. I was only wondering. No need to go mad. Mm. Oh, hello there. How are you, all right? Yep, thanks to you. Well, what's he been up to now? I've been bending his ear. Uh, do you want a coffee? You must be gasping. Not particularly. I'm on my way to the cafe. I'll bring you one back. Uh, no, don't worry. Uh, I'll do it. Oi, 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 Terry, don't hang about. I've got to go out. Well, shut up shop for five minutes. What? <sighs> oh, no more, please. 
please. Last one. Well, can't you move some stuff around? This is a freak, not a TARDIS. You know, we might as well chuck it in the dustbin. It's never going to get eaten. Have you heard from Dad? No, not today. He's going to go berserk when he hears about all this. He asked me to trust her. I might give him a call. No, no, I wouldn't. Why not? I'm going to speak to him. Yeah, well, don't we all? Well, I'm sure Frank's got his hands full with Claire right now. Whatever's going on up there is more important. Oh, you're all right. You say you've been out for a jog. That chance, I bet. Well, thanks for coming, Jim. You ain't got any special stuff for getting wine stains out of carpets, have you? Red or white? Red. Oh, that's nasty, that. I've tried everything in Pat's cupboards, you know, bleach, toilet cleaner, the lot. Salt usually does the trick. Yeah? Rubbish. My mum used to swear by a drop of vinegar. That'll sort you out. I'll try anything. Well, I'll tell you what, I had some chips last night. I think I've got some left. I'll wait for me to wash the finish and then I'll pop round, all right? Oh, Jim, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I don't think this one will be out of the Roy. What are your people playing at? Well, the last card they sent had the wrong number plates. Any idea how stupid that is? All right, all right, I'll sort you out some new ones. Anyway, I want this to be the last one. Why? Lots of reasons. Frank, mainly. Was he getting suspicious? No, of course not. He's got no idea, but that's just the point. He's my partner, Phil. I hate this deceit. What Frank don't know, don't hurt him. Now, we're raking it in. You can't bottle it, honey. You can call it what you will, but... But pension's well stocked up now. I'm not greedy. And what about me? Don't I get a say? I want to get back to a normal life. I'm sorry, Phil, but I'm not going to be the front man anymore. Yeah, well, it ain't as easy as that. You're in it up to your neck. Meaning? Meaning I'd take a bit more time to think about it if I was you. Oh, I've been looking for you. I've been a bit busy, Mum. Oh, I just want to know what's happening. What about? Well, Lisa, of course. She's not interested. So is that it? I mean, what about the baby? You just can't give up. Mum, I've been trying. Well, try harder. Just drop it with you, please. I haven't given up, OK? <laughs> you must have just overcooked it. Well, I tell you, I'll be trying your tongue again for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah? How's it going? You mean that war in there or my battle to make Phil see sense? Oh, good luck. Every time I try and talk to my boys, they accuse me of interfering. I know Janny's done something to upset Jackie. Will he say sorry? Mm, some macho thing. They just can't bring themselves to say that S word. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only the boys, but don't get me started on Janine, otherwise I'll be here all afternoon. All we can do is our best, eh? Mm. See ya. See Bye. ya. Be all right if I pop by and pick up that saffron later. Get yours. Where's he got to? Hello, Claire? You all right? How you doing? Yeah, I know. I heard. Well, I told you he was an idiot, didn't I? Is Dad there? Can I have a word? Oh, Claire, look, come on, don't start crying, please. Just take a deep breath or something. <laughs> what, you were an estate agent? Ben Fleet, salesman of the year in 81. Of course, that was before everything went pear-shaped in the recession. Couldn't keep me down, though. Oh, you're full of surprises, aren't you, Tell? Oh, I enjoy a challenge, something different. That's why I went for the vet. Oh, it's a shame you didn't get it. You know, I dread going into work these days. Peggy and Dan can't even look at each other without having a row. I've got an idea. Lock them in the cellar, let them slug it out. My money's on Peggy, I reckon she'll nag him into submission. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> of course you could leave. You deserve something better than the Vic. They'd lose a lot of the punters, though. You're all flatterer. I mean it. This is so stupid, you're driving me nuts to both of you. Jamie, it's hard to get Lisa to even listen to me. Well, I'm not surprised after the way you treated her. But she's just a bit mixed up, that's all, Phil. Yeah, well, that makes service. And if you want her back, it's down to you. I know that. <laughs> I've told her I wanted a baby, that, that I want to get back with her. What else is there to say? Do you never let her down again? Then buy her some flowers or some chocolates. Girls like that stuff. Do me a favour, will you? All right, fine. Don't bother, yeah? Just let her go. Her ain't your baby. Right, I can't find the keys to the Mazda. Oh, uh, they're, uh, they're hanging up. They're not, I've looked. Well, maybe you put them somewhere, you know. No, I'm sorry, Ricky, but I've, I've got a lot on you. You can manage on your own, can't you? Well, what have I got things to do? Will have you? No. Well, then.
I told you it wouldn't work. At least it's going pink. Well, that'd be the one who has to tell Pat. Did you bring it? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's happening? Yeah. Look here. Rub it in or something. Oh. I'm a dead man. She's gonna kill me. Well, you're giving up. Where's your nounce, eh? We would never have won the war without that, you know. Here, come, get out of it. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hang on. Look, to you a bit. Oh. You think she's gonna fall for this? Are you mad? Oh, it's lovely, that. She'll never notice that. There's something wrong with this thing, it keeps turning itself off. Can I borrow it? No, I'm waiting for a call. I just want to see if my mates are coming out tonight. Come on, what's the big problem? They've been yapping for hours. So? Who's this important person anyway? Sandra. I've left her loads of messages. Maybe she's busy? Yeah, I've seen things last time I saw her, I think I did something stupid. What? I kissed her. Oh. What's so bad about that? We felt right at the time, but I must have read it all wrong. Not necessarily. Well, why don't you call back then? There could be loads of reasons why. It's only been a couple of days. Yeah, right. I'm such an idiot. There you go. Double helpings today. What of? Courgette bake. It's very good for you. You're trying to tell me, son? Mix up with the orders, apparently. We ran out of shepherd's pie. I don't know, is it? It's on the house. All right? Well, I'll buy that for you, but it'll only end up on the floor. It's two pound eighty, please. There you go, Sonia. Cheers. Anything else? Uh, no, thanks. I said. Oh no, actually, Jackie, can I have a bottle of mineral water as well, please? Cheers. What is so bad about me spending an evening with my brother? I didn't say there was. So why are you giving me such a hard time? I'm not. So, what is it? Ice cream and pickles for dessert? <laughs> Give us a chance. Maybe in a few more months. You know, I do admire you, Lise, for what you're doing, but for now I just can't help thinking that... That I'm mad? That I should go running back to Phil and beg him to look after me? No, no, of course not, but I know you. Despite all this brave talk, deep down, you still love him. I just have to get over it then, won't I? I don't know. What else do you think? Well, it depends what she likes. I presume they are for a woman. Uh, let's take these ones, please. Thank you. Mark, come to the cafe. So what do I owe the honour? I'm broke, you're paying. Mark tells me you're a bit broken-hearted these days. Thanks. Come on, I'll see you later. Whoa, emergency, was it? Listen up. What? This morning, the shop was shut when I got back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. right. Well? Uh, well, I realised I'd left my wallet at home. Well, you could have taken some money out with till. What do you need it for anyway? Well, cash and carry card was in it. Oh. Uh, oh, well, I couldn't go without that, could I? How's things with Nicky these days? How do you mean? Well, it must be a bit awkward since you split up, seeing her at the same school. We weren't serious. Yeah, I know, but it'd be a shame not to be speaking because of it, though. We are. Well, you mean you're still friends? Yeah, sort of. We're not avoiding each other. Where was I when you suddenly grew up? I can't expect you to be a kid forever. All right. Yeah. It's Natalie about? No. Don't tell me you're losing your charm already. I saw Phil this morning. He told me you turned him down. That's right. Why? What, with the baby coming and everything? Peggy, please. It's too complicated. I'm sure you've had to put up with a lot. Phil's my son, I know what he's like. But he's a good man, and oh, he thinks the world of you. I wish I could believe you, but he's mucked me around too many times. I'm better off without him. But it's his baby, too. I can't talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. No tower, I'm off up west. Shane, mind you, if you wanted lasagna, you'd have gone to just hit me, wouldn't you? We didn't ask you. It's a disaster. Sure, I'm surprised at Janine. She's not stupid, is she? No. And the more I think about it, the more I think she did it on purpose. Nah, why would she do that? To wind me up, of course. It's all a game to her. One big joke. Not a very funny one, is it? Just 
the team, was it? Yeah, the takeaway. You haven't seen Phil, have you? Not since this morning. Don't know why you're here. You should be at the Vic. They're giving away food, thanks to you. Oh, I suppose everyone thinks it's hilarious. Well, not quite everyone, you know. I think uh, Peggy isn't all that amused. The woman said it was a special deal, 20% off. I thought I'd be saving money. Yeah, so you could pocket the difference? No. I just wanted to prove that I could do it. So, no mobile phone then? Not unless you lend me the money. I promise I'll pay you back. I told you the answer is no. Why not? You haven't paid your right. Things just don't fall in your lap, you know. You have to work hard for them. Learn by your mistakes. Oh, is that a fact? You know it is. Cheapskate. But you got her order wrong. No, I didn't. I didn't don't mind. Oh. Go on, then. Blame me. I didn't say a word. I haven't phoned back about that bread order, and I promised to go and pick up Joe. That's all right, Mum. I'll stay here. Are you sure? Yeah. See you tomorrow? See you later, Mum. Right. Every time I open my mouth, you jump down my throat. Now, what have I done? Jackie, I've been tiptoeing around you for days now. You need to get me in the mood. Chance would be a fine thing. If you're trying to put me off, then you're going the right way about it. I myself make the effort. Ah! So do you right. Ah. Fire? You all right? No, I'm not really. I'm a dead man, if you must know. But Peggy's still on the warpath. Oh, I don't know and I don't care anymore. Oh, charming. You screw things up and it don't matter. Peggy was in a right state. All right, so you're on our side now? Oh, of course, because it weren't your fault, was it? No, nothing ever is. Hmm? You think the whole world revolves around you, don't you? Well, I've got news for you, it's done. Well, I thought you of all people... Oh, stop just... whining, Jimmy, I'm sick of it. You know, uh, what about us, eh? Have you thought about what Peggy's going through, coping about Dad? No, oh, of course you don't. <sighs> Look, Roy told me to spend some money on myself. That's right. I'm really pleased the business is doing well. Oh, no. Roy's so busy these days, I hardly ever see him. Oh, dear. I've sold that class twice over if you've got me those plates you promised me. I ain't had a chance, I'll drop them round first thing in the morning. Hello, what are you two up to? Nothing. Oh, it's about time you showed your face. Although I'm surprised you got the nerve after what you did. I made a mistake and I said I was sorry. You will be. Look, Peggy, there is now, no... Now, get up those stairs before I really lose my temper. There'll be no running out this time. You haven't redecorated, have you? How did you know? <laughs> oh, so you do know where we keep the bleach. I'm impressed. Trouble is, I've got work a day at hands now. Oh, my poor baby. I'm going to have to buy you some rubber gloves. Well, kinky. <laughs> Listen. What? I can't hear anything. Exactly. That's because we're all alone. Oh, actually, Barry. Great. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Um, listen, could you uh, leave us alone for a minute? Go chat, you know. I'll be upstairs. Right. I've bought you this. Oh, no. Sonia? I came on this afternoon, that. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Got me out of swimming as well. Oh, so glad. Oh, well, that's a relief, then. You're telling me. Listen, that. Thanks for all you've done for me. You can keep that now. Thanks again. Cheers. Nightmare isn't the word. Cool. Stan's enjoying every minute of it, isn't he? Yeah. I know we didn't. Look, darling, I'm sorry to do this to you. No, no, of course not. No, I don't expect you to rush back. It's just that... I thought you should know, seeing as it's Janine. Oh, don't worry. I will. Yeah. Go oh, I don't. Take care. Bye. That was your father. Yeah, I know that. Why didn't you let me speak to him? What? And fill his head with your version of events, not lightly. Oh, right. So you got there first and dropped me in it? You dropped yourself in it. Like you always do. Only this time you cost us money. Not to mention the embarrassment. Dan's been grinning all day like a Cheshire cat. He's going around telling everyone how we can't run the pub. You've made us look stupid, Janine, and I really don't need it. You have said I'm sorry. Sorry? You don't know what the word means. But, Peggy, I... I've bent over backwards to make you feel at home here. And with Frank away, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. We trusted you. 
big mistake because you don't even care. I do! And save the tears, please, Janine. It might work with your father, but it doesn't work with me. Oh, and by the way, there's a pile of washing up in the kitchen with your name on it. I don't want to see your face until it's finished. Understand? <laughs> You don't stop there. Joe loves these. He was a bit quiet on the way home from school today, and I thought some cakes might cheer him up. Maybe it'll work on Batman as well, eh? <laughs> Jenny, what have you done? Nothing. Did you cut it? No, it's a skull, but it's all right. How did you do it? I was trying to carry too much, and some coffee slipped out of my hand. Well, it's not like you to be so clumsy. Does it hurt, darling? Um, will you stop fussing? I'm fine. Finally take us then. No. To tell you the truth, but I'll be glad to close up tonight. Tired? Knackered. Bet Janine's ears have been burning. Well, I wasn't too happy with her either. What do you mean? Peggy, I wasn't going to tell you this, but she asked Roy to lend us some money for a mobile phone. Oh, no, not that again. I don't believe it. Has that girl got no shame? Oh, she's a teenager. Well, that's no excuse. I thought myself all right. She's done that washing up by now. I think I'd better go and have another word with her. Good luck. <sighs> Wish I hadn't sorted out that stock cupboard now. Oh, and there's me thinking you're Mr. Universe. Uh, I think you better go for that full body massage. Everything is in perfect working order, young lady. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> It's going to mend everything. No. That's why I got you these as well. I'm off chocolates. Excuse me. Mark! Already tried, he's not in. Phil. I didn't open up today. I, I got cars piled high, but I didn't care. I couldn't concentrate. My fault, I suppose. Yeah, well, it is a bit of a problem, because if we don't get back together, my business could go down the drain. I think it's best for both of us if we just call it a day. Well, not for me, eh? It'd never work. It will. I don't blame you for hating me. Why won't you understand? I can't keep letting you hurt me, Phil. And you will. I promise you, that is the last thing that's on my mind. The most important thing for me is to be with you and our baby. I mean it. I, uh, got you these as well. I hope you like them. I'm, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. They're lovely. At least I know I've been rubbish, but I promise you I won't be anymore. I say, get through that thick skull of yours. I try to trust you, and look how you repay me. I'm not your slave, Peggy. You know, if I had my way, I'd have you out of this place so fast your feet wouldn't touch the ground. I tried to explain, but you wouldn't listen. I didn't do anything wrong. Well, who did it then? Who made a mess of ordering the food? I said you were on trial, and you blew it. That's not fair. And you went behind Frank's back and asked Roy for some money again, didn't you? Not exactly. Oh, yes, you did. Pat told me. I was so ashamed. Well, it's got nothing to do with you, and anyway, I would have paid it back. What with? I wasn't going to pay you for helping me. Not after today. But, Peggy... When are you going to stand up 
and take the blame for your actions. Show some guts, some self-respect. And stop lying all the time. No wonder Roy wanted you out of deals on wheels. He's a good man, but even he loses his patience. Oh, don't make me laugh. A good liar, you mean. How dare you? You think I'm bad? I don't have a touch on him. He's like the master. What are you talking about? Oh, drop the act, Peggy, you know. No, what? The cars. I'm not stupid. I saw what went on. What cars? What are you on about? You really don't know, do you? Roy's selling stolen cars. This isn't funny, Janine. If this is another one of your games. If you don't believe me, go and ask Roy. Roy.